They are the great train stations of the world. The biggest, the busiest, the liveliest. Standing still is not a good option. <laughs> You're gonna get knocked down. There is a big uh, fight. Epic gateways to epic cities. As soon as they come into this space, I always hear people exclaim, oh my gosh, look at that. A journey across four continents. The trains are crammed full. Some people are hanging out of it, some people are squeezing into it. This stop, it's the super-efficient 26-platformed Zurich Hauptbahnhof, where staff face a daily battle. We're missing. I'm sorry. With the tracks and trains... Oh. Well, it's probably supposed to be turned to. With the passengers... No, 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 no. And with the world's most demanding clock. I see the time. My mind tell me, man, go the next train. This is Zurich Hauptbahnhof, one of the biggest and grandest stations in Europe. It handles 3,000 trains a day, more than any other European railway hub. The sheer volume of arrivals and departures here make Zurich Hauptbahnhof one of the busiest stations in the world. It's able to deal with so much train traffic because of its vast scale. Its central concourse is the size of three football pitches. It has 26 platforms spread over four levels and a network of underground tunnels which allow trains to move in and out from either direction. And it's one of the world's most punctual services with 90% of trains arriving on schedule all of them regulated by the iconic Swiss railway clock. Today, it's up to station controllers Laura Bamert and Mario Meister to meet the high expectations of Swiss passengers. They get so easily mad because the train's like only three minutes delayed. I, I cannot tell you how important that is, it's, it's like, top of the range. With a delay of three minutes, they are not, not happy that uh, the train is late. And uh, in Switzerland, you have connecting trains within three, four, five minutes. So when one train is late by five minutes, the passenger can miss the other train in the other station. It's coming up to afternoon Russia, when 250,000 people will make their way through the station. The service is running smoothly now, but nothing stays the same on the railway. It's quite calm uh, now, but it can turn around suddenly, so... Five minutes, oh, there we have something. An emergency call is coming through from a train on Platform 8, and it's not good news for several reasons. Look, jetzt kannst du gerade eine Person mit Krampf am Fall getippt, dann könntest du gerade in Action gehen, das wäre auf Gleis 8. Gleis 8. Medizinischer Notfall. Gleis 8. Gehen wir los. Customer Supervisor Jacek Dobrowski is on his way. Ja, wo genau? Da ist er gerade in den Fahrer, ja? Korrekt. OK, alles klar. Da ist er nicht genau verantwortlich. Und wenn du jetzt schon schauen, ja? Sind wir jetzt nicht anwesend, ja? Now we will see um, what happened with the rescue. Everything is possible. The emergency services are on site and paramedics are now on board treating the patient, a woman who's suddenly been taken ill. We have already 160 travelers in the train. In 10 minutes, the train has to depart from here. If not, um, the travelers have to take another train. Any more delay could mean cancelling the service. We can no keine Prognose machen. Um, die Sicherheit ist da, Ambulance ist da, 
Und die Leute sind auf dem Zug informiert. The time is running to do the right things. Doing her bit to keep the station running to time is driver Melinda Fuchs. The timetable is very strict. And there are a lot of trains, so it can get a little messy sometimes. So if there's a technical issue here, for example, it's not a, a very good place to have a problem because so many trains will be affected by it. Punctuality is, it's not always that easy as people think it is. They just think, well, it's the train driver. There are so many reasons why a train could be late. And sometimes, but not very often, it's actually us. <laughs> It's not so punctual on platform eight. The good news, though, is that the patient is now well enough to be moved and the train won't be cancelled. The train starts with a delay about 10 minutes or more, but uh, the people uh, in the train, I think they are really happy that they can continue with their journey. But uh, the most important thing is the, the rescue. The patient has suffered serious stomach cramps. She's on her way to hospital, and the train is now on its way too. This train are going with a delay, and now uh, it's done. We have, uh, I think, today perhaps some more uh, difficult situations. We will see. This is Route Control, the state-of-the-art operation centre which manages much of the network's 795 stations and 3,000 miles of track. And Zurich station is the hub of the whole system. The station is sort of the heart of the traffic in terms of the amounts of passengers and the amounts of trains that go in and out. If something goes wrong here, you will have uh, knock-on effects further down the road. It's now 4 p.m. and commuters are beginning to make their way to the station for their trains home. Trains are arriving and leaving every few minutes. Rush hour is now in full flow. But in station control, there's bad news. Einfach als Info zwischen der Rorschach und St. Margrethe. Dort hat es ähm, eine Kollision mit dem Lastwagen. Und das ist total unterbrochen. Gell? Tschüss. The train collision with a truck on the track. The east part of uh, Switzerland. And there is um, every train in this, this area is uh, cancelled. Pictures of the incident are coming in. A meat delivery lorry has been hit by a freight train at a level crossing. It's happened at a tricky place, the main artery through eastern Switzerland into Germany. Maybe we will have some international trains that got rerouted. We will see how big the collision is. The incident threatens to cause serious disruption at the height of evening peak. Trains are now blocked because of tens of thousands of Swiss sausages on the line. It's the start of evening rush hour at Zurich Hauptbahnhof, one of the busiest stations in the world. Up in the control room, they manage a tightly synchronized timetable of 3,000 daily arrivals and departures. But tonight, they're dealing with an unusual problem that's disrupting evening peak. A lorry carrying thousands of sausages has collided with a train at a level crossing, blocking the main line from Zurich to Munich. 
We have uh, one prognosis, it's like closed for un uh, until nine o'clock. So it will be like one, two, three, four, five hours. That's quite long. Quite unusual, actually. <laughs> Don't have that every day. Customer supervisor Christoph Hunziker is down on the platform ready to reroute passengers. Christoph. But now there's news of a second incident out on track. Dort ist es so, die stehen noch zu kämpfen alle Moment, der eine Notbremse zogen für eine bewusstlose Person, die zog ist. A person has fallen ill on a busy commuter train at Kemptal, 12 miles from Zurich, and the train is now at a standstill, adding strain and delays to an already busy service. All the trains now at this time are crowded, so. Maybe a bit a problem for the next train. Then too many, too many persons in the in one train. <laughs> Christoph now has to deal with the fallout. So we just received the message that uh, there is a medical urgency a few uh, stations away from here, and we have to go down to say to people that the train will not come, and uh, yeah, just to check the alternative connections. Okay. We don't. As Christoph handles the Russia disruption on the concourse, transport police officers Virginia Velkley and Heinz Schmidhauser have their own commotion to deal with. Security guards have alerted them to a man who has walked into the station and asked to be handed over to the authorities. What's this problem? Virginia must get to the bottom of the man's story. How do you get here to to Europe? Maybe three, three months here in Switzerland. In Switzerland? Yeah. Where are you from? Morocco. The man appears to be desperate. Where in Switzerland? You have been the last three months? Street. Street? Street. Yeah. And then he makes an unusual request. I want to stay here if it's possible. You want to stay here? Yeah. I'm trying to live and to study in Morocco, but I couldn't. You know why? Because it's, uh, in Morocco it's, uh, it's hopeless. Life in Morocco is like a hell. The man is seeking asylum, but he has to answer some difficult questions first. Why you were here in Switzerland like three months and you didn't ask for asylum? I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything. I don't have anyone to help me, to tell me why. Uh, because uh, I was afraid. We have to check your fingerprints because if you have asked for asylum in, in another country, it's like difficult. Yeah, teilweise habe ich schon Mitleid mit diesen Leuten, weil es wird hier irgendeinen Grund geben, wieso dass sie die Weiterreise auf sich nehmen und hierher zu uns kommen. Up in control, Laura is now battling to reroute Germany-bound trains blocked by sausages on the line. Normally, he starts in Zurich. Normally goes like a Zurich airport, Winterthur, Wiel, Gosau, St. Gallen, St. Margrethe, and then to Munich. And now he's going to be diverted, like going around the lake to Zaragoza. The people from the stations in between may take another train, but they're going to be late. That's going to add miles and hours to journeys, but Laura's hopeful that not all passengers will be as demanding as the Swiss. Hopefully there are a lot of Germans on the train, though. We'll say, like, oh, well, it's, it's like in Germany, but <laughs> Swiss people are, are not used to that. Christoph, though, is in the firing line. The sausages have also blocked local services and he needs to give daily commuters alternative routes home. But not all of them are willing to listen. I meet them great, they're just going to fall off. Oh, tschüss. OK, well. Christoph is uh, downstairs at the platform, so there'll be, uh, yeah, uh, some unhappy person there right now. 
der ist nicht der größte Scheiß so, wo ich je in der Welt habe. Wie ist das? Guten Abend. Nein, Winter du nicht. Der Fahrt wird umgeleitet, sorry. Mhm. Weil äh, 18.39 Uhr auf Gleis 33, 34 Uhr. At the police post, Virginia is processing a Moroccan man with no documentation who says he wants asylum. I, I don't have anyone. I'm trying to learn it in Morocco. I have Nivo, but I don't have anyone help. The man is taken away to be fingerprinted, checked against a database and questioned further. Only one in four Swiss asylum applications are successful. Ja, ich kenne seine persönliche Geschichte nicht, ich kenne seine Situation nicht. Aber ich bin auch froh, dass ich nicht die Person bin, die beurteilen muss, ob sein Asylantrag angenommen wird oder nicht. Up in the control room, Mario is still dealing with Russia disruption. The commuter line from Kemptal is now open. But he has some sad news about the person who collapsed on the train. The medical emergency, like the person there in Kemptal, unfortunately died at, on, the, on the platform there. So the help was too late, unfortunately. We don't have time for, for thinking about the person which died. Probably better so. <laughs> that you don't have enough time for, for thinking about that person. And down on platform nine, That's enough. Christoph has at last got welcome news for passengers for the Munich train delayed by the sausages on the line. Train is leaving. Yeah, right now. Perfect. Now we go for having a break. But there's no break for Transport Police Officer Virginia Velkley. She's now on duty with colleague Mirko Milanovic. And just as one issue has been dealt with, another one emerges. And it's another unusual case. We are going to Altstetten, and there is a big uh, fight. Zwei hundertdreißig Personen auf dem Gleisfeld, größere Gruppierung. Oder Element von der Stadtpolizei schon vor Ort. Wir gehen als Unterstützung rein. Wir müssen einsteigen. Altstädter Platz, ja. Okay. Okay, dann können wir mal führen. Social Media Footage is coming in of a big brawl involving hundreds of youths at a local station just a couple of miles down the track. Einige Personen seien schon auf den Gleisen gewesen, einige Züge fielen aus. Und jetzt schauen wir, was, was, vor Ort, was wir antreffen. Das Telefon an. Kannst du dringlich abbrechen? Kannst du dringlich abbrechen? Ja. Transport police officers Virginia Velkley and Mirko Milanovic are responding to an emergency call at a local station two miles from Zurich Hauptbahnhof. There have been reports of a mass brawl involving hundreds of youths. At station control, they're monitoring the unfolding situation. We have many cancellations, many, yeah, many delays. Not good for the moment, no. With police now at the scene, Virginia and Mirko are trying to disperse the crowds. Sind Sie also gut? Gehen Sie, gehen Sie auf die Vorderseite, nehmen den Rücken an. Ja, da gehen Sie auf Gleis. Gehen Sie vorne links auf, gehen Sie auf. Ist kein Problem. Merci. The cause of the violence is becoming clearer. 
a spontaneous party organised over Snapchat that turned nasty. <laughs> Wir haben jetzt einmal gesagt, es gibt keine Diskussion, die da vorne warten. Der Busbahnhof ist dort vorne. Dass wir die Menschen drauf sind, man spürt das. Momentan hat sich die Situation ist sich am Auflösen. Wir warten mal ab. Jetzt ist Abwarten Tee trinken. Mal schauen, wie sich die Situation jetzt weiter äh, entwickelt. Just a few hundred meters from the bus stop, at the same local station, a team of railway engineers are hard at work. Hussein Kiddick and his crew are laying new ballast over a freshly dug underpass. Deswegen ist die ganze Aktion wegen der Führung hier. Da haben wir dann die gleich ausgebaut. Hilfsbürger ist eingebaut worden. Wir tun jetzt dann gerade dann die Anschlüsse von der Hilfsbürger anstopfen. An important stretch of track has been out of service for the duration of the work, and it's vital that it's reopened on time. Also die ganze Arbeit, also was wir hier machen, das wird dann äh, bis, das wird dauern bis Montag 5.30 Uhr. Äh, weil das ist wichtig wegen, äh, wegen der Bahnbetrieb, da kommen wieder, dann wird wieder mehr Züge gefahren, ab Montag früh. A special tamper machine helps the ballast settle to support the tracks. Once this was backbreaking work using picks and shovels. But some things are still done the old fashioned way. The tracks are levered to the correct height by hand. As the machine moves to each new section, Hussein checks the rails are level and to the precise standard gauge of four foot eight and a half inches. Weil jetzt kommen wir gut voran. Jetzt tun wir da anpassen. Dann werde ich dann hier dann schweiden und neutralisieren. Dann ist gut, dann gehen wir da vorbei. Across the tracks, Virginia and Mirko think they have now dealt with the mass brawl. Wir werden uns langsam aber sicher zurückziehen, ja. But suddenly it all kicks off again. And the scale of the incident has surprised even old police hands. Handgemenge, Streitereien, aus was für Gründen auch immer, Hintergrund, ob das Beziehungsdramen sind oder Alkohol ist immer im Spiel. Ja, das kommt öfters vor. Aber dass eine Party gecancelt wird und dass wir auf Ein Schlag so viele Leute am Bahnhof haben, das kommt schon selten davor. Ja, wir haben die Situation sehr deeskalierend auseinandergebracht. Sprich, wie du siehst, vorne keine Personengruppen mehr zu sehen. Es hat sich verteilt, für uns erfüllt. Zürich ist die Partymeile. Ist so. Ja. <lacht> At Zurich Station, the dance floor is empty. Well, almost. It's early morning, and with passengers nearly all gone, Raimondo Maida can get to work with his high-tech helper. This is my favorite, my robot. Look, alone. He needs me, and I need him. I don't feel me alone, no, never. I am, I am very busy. I don't have time to be lonely. Where is the robot? Is he finished or not? Okay, oh, not so good. I think we have to wait a little bit. He plays. <laughs> I don't know what, what he wants, but he plays. Come on, boy. The robot is finished, but I have to keep him on the working. And I go. (laughs) 
It's a new day in Zurich, the biggest city in Switzerland. On Bahnhofstrasse, there's the normal hustle and bustle as travellers head to Zurich Hauptbahnhof, the country's busiest transport hub. But the station today is going to be even busier than usual. And noisier. Switzerland is, is rather calm. This is exceptional. With morning rush hour over, staff have to prepare for Zurich's busy evening peak. But a spontaneous demonstration by construction workers in the middle of the concourse threatens to derail the whole day. And it's customer supervisor Ralph Langenberger who's in the thick of it. Yeah, this is quite loud, yeah. But we are also used to the, to the, to the noise of the trains. So, uh, we're quite used to it. It's a more orderly atmosphere three miles down the track at Zurich's train maintenance yard. Take care. Here, too, everything has to work like clockwork for high quality work and then we need a clean place and so you can use the time for the work and not for clean up. Carriages are efficiently and swiftly brought in and out using a giant turntable, the only one in the world. To take one out or inside we need 15 minutes. And so it means every half an hour we can put in a new coach for repair. They're checked over every 12,500 kilometers. That means once every 13 days. Today, Italian engineers Pasquale, Giovanni and Luigi are replacing all the wheels on a 50-ton double-decker carriage. First to vorbereite and schieben. Borge oben drauf, montiert und dann noch ein richtig Bellinzona. Albita vier Stunden, vier Stunden drei Personen, vier Achsen, wie Butter. And cutting edge Swiss technology also measures exactly how tightly to bolt the nuts. Now it's green, and now the yellow circle means that's the next nut he has to fix. The reconditioned wheels must now be attached to the carriage. That's several hours' work, and the Swiss railway clock is ticking. We have a little bit to speed up because we have another coach. He has to come on this place this afternoon. Reservations manager Hussein Maida is also up against the clock. For me, it's the stress. I see the time. My mind tells me. Man, go the next train. He also has some high-tech help. The train number is uh, correct. I put with this USB stick completely reservation in the board computer. Must a little bit wait. Oh, it's my smart girl, come on. But the onboard computer is letting him down. Oh my God, the system completely down. Luckily, the old turn it off and on again technique does the trick. Ah, jetzt läuft das. Super. Jetzt geht das System ran. Right. This train is ready to go on time. On the concourse, the union speeches are over. And Ralph would like his station back. I'm not going to the track where they are supposed to leave. But not all the protesters are ready to leave, and a train delay isn't helping. Yeah, it should be track 17, the first train, which brings them home. But it hasn't arrived yet. Driver Melinda Fuchs is arriving on time, thanks to the marvel of Zurich's flexible track system. 
there are so many different tracks for so many different directions. And when you are the signaler, it gives you more possibilities to deal with problems. But timekeeping is not always this easy. Because I have to be so punctual all the time in my job. I am very unpunctual in my private life. That is a fact, and I often have to run to catch my private trains. <laughs> Next to Zürich, and one of these is this. It's the end of the line. It's non-stop, though, underground in the station's 1000 meter square kitchen. All of the food for the station and its food outlets is prepared here by a team of 140 chefs, led by Christopher Bans. Sausages, bakery, pastries, smoked salmon. Uh, we make pastrami here, we make bacon here. And even down here, every second counts. There's 400,000 people passing through the main station a day. So there's a lot of chance to get people in to eat. The guests don't want to wait. So that's a big problem. So the time, time is really important. It's crunch time too at the depot. The three Italian engineers are ready to bolt the new wheels onto the train carriage. What? One gets out, next comes in. We have always enough to do. Zurich's high-tech train depot and carefully timetabled workload has ensured that this train will be back in service on time. It's almost like space age, something like you would see in NASA. Of course, we are in Switzerland. <laughs> Back at Zurich Hauptbahnhof, the demo is all but over, and Ralph can finally pour the protesters on their specially chartered train. Attention, départ de train. Now it's getting calm again. <laughs> Hello. Absteigen, absteigen. Not for long, though. If the uh, bicycle driver uh, come very quick and they couldn't brake, we, we have accident here on the platform and we doesn't need that on the rush hour. Customer supervisor Jacek Dobrovsky has to get the station ready for afternoon peak. Also there with the skateboard. We have a lot of people with skateboards, with bicycles, and then with broken bones. Yes, not, not, not really good. It's now 4 p.m. And Zurich's busiest period, the evening rush hour, is about to start. Okay, alles klar, das wird Fahrt 3. But news is coming into control of a serious incident that could yet again jeopardize the tightly controlled timetable. Um, 2030 is probably the ganz Ausfall von Zürich auf Luzern, it's nur der Zusatzzug. A person has been hit by a train near Alton, a busy rail junction. And on the platforms, Erwin Brun is going to have to deal with the rush hour fallout. If it happens on the busy line between Zurich and Alton, then more or less half of the network is blocked. A very difficult situation to handle. It's nearly 5 p.m. at Zurich Hauptbahnhof, one of the busiest stations in the world. And an incident 20 miles along the main line near Luzern is threatening the evening rush hour. It's now 16.56 and um, we have an interruption between Zurich and Luzern at the moment because uh, of an accident involving a person. 
On the platforms, customer supervisor Erwin Brun is sadly well aware of what an accident on the track usually means. There was a suicidal accident. The first half hour, it's usually the most stressful for everybody. I'm always very honest and explain it, that it's a suicidal accident, and then customers understand it. And they always feel sorry for the driver. The main line between Lucerne and Zurich is now blocked. No trains can get through until the track is cleared. And now it's five o'clock, so it's uh, quite busy. The whole network in Switzerland, it's one of the main lines. Every half an hour there is a train, a double-decker train, and it's, uh, yeah, it's always crowded, even in, especially in, uh, in rush hour. And on the platforms, there's now another problem for Irwin. One of the 13 daily German trains from Hamburg has broken down and will be arriving with a delay. It's arriving five minutes late and we'll leave with a delay of three minutes in Zurich. These trains coming from Germany very often are heavily late. For the Swiss people, it's already three minutes a problem. <laughs> because three minutes delay, that's outrageous. So much for German efficiency. <laughs> no comment. The broken down German train has had to be swapped out and replaced by a veteran of the Swiss railway. Here he comes. Oh, I think the substitute train is from the 60s. Took quite a vintage one. But you can open the windows. <laughs> These are the trains I used to go on a school trip for the school excursions. The toilet system is rudimentary. So there's just a hole that goes on the track. And there's no time to waste. The train's late arrival means the passengers will have a very tight connection time. You know, the official connecting time for a train here in Zurich is seven minutes, and that is not a lot. And when you are five minutes late... It's 6.30, and the antique Swiss train finally leaves on its onward journey. There's also good news about the service to Lucerne, which has been disrupted for two hours because of the fatality on the line. Services are running again, and Irwin heads to platform eight to dispatch the first direct train for two hours. But now there's another issue. This train has a technical problem. So we go towards the front to the driver's cabin. One train has a problem now in Zurich. Another train going to Lucerne. Sometimes it's all at one line, sometimes it's nothing the whole day. It's a bit, uh, a bit strange line today. Because of the earlier incident, the platforms are now packed with commuters all wanting to get home. I'd like to Calcutta now, huh? And when Irwin finally battles through the crowds to the driver's cab at the front of the Lucerne train, there's yet more bad news. Schlingerdämpfer <laughs> problem. That has to do with the balance of the train. <laughs> well, it's probably going to be cancelled. Outside the station, transport police officers Virginia Velkley and Heinz Schmidhauser are dealing with another mysterious individual who's just turned up at the station. Das alles, was ich dabei habe, kein Koffer, nix. Nee. Sie sind jetzt heute vom Zuhause weg? Nee, von der Psychiatrie, von der Psychiatrie. Ah, okay. Die wissen, dass sie jetzt hier sind. Nee, nee. A man has checked himself out of his psychiatric care facility in Germany and made his way to Zurich by train. Wissen die, dass sie weggegangen sind? Nee, dann würde ich nicht mehr leben. Ja, so schlimm? Ja, ja so schlimm. Oh, nee. Warum sind Sie denn dort weggelaufen? Werden Sie gesucht? Die wollen mich da, wollen mich da krank, krank machen. Krank machen, mit Tabletten und so. Ja. Okay. 
Heinz does what he can to engage with the man. But the man is vulnerable, and there's nothing Virginia and Heinz can do for him in Switzerland. They'll take him to the border and hand him to their German counterparts. And on the platforms, there is now nothing Irwin can do for the delayed Lucerne service. Mario, also beim Lokführer sagt Schlingendämpfer und das Personal sagt mir jetzt gerade der Wagen wie er sich tot und jetzt ist er unentschieden Ausfall. Okay, also ja, Deadline einfach drinnen bis 1855. Deadline für Räumung. Du sagst Ausfall. Also, der da. The train which has a problem, the 1835 train to Lucerne. We need to take all the passengers out of the train and they need to take the train half an hour later. So that would be crowded. And news of the cancellation on a day with an already heavily disrupted timetable will not go down well. Ich habe 19.00 für jeden nächsten nach Lucerne. Ja. Ich kann jetzt nicht noch eine halbe Stunde warten, bis das dazu. Das ist eine halbe Stunde. Nein, es geht einfach nicht. Ja, ich habe keinen anderen Zug. Zahlen Sie mir ein Taxi. Da müssen Sie am Schalter vormachen. Ich kann kein Taxi autorisieren. Ja, das ist ja. nicht gut. Tut mir leid. Danke. Schön ab. Danke ebenfalls. And trains that are leaving are packed. Ich habe erst Klasse, aber ich, kann, ich, ich habe nicht mal einen Sitzplatz, nichts mehr bekommen. Hier ist alles überfallen. Na, also wollten Sie dann nicht mehr fahren? Ich, ich, ich wollte ja. fahren. Nein, 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 nein. Wissen Sie was? Nur, Sie, ich habe extra geschaut. Ah, nein, Sie haben nicht okay. geschaut hier vorne. Bitte. Don't quarrel with the clients. You can only lose. For the second day running, it's been a severely disrupted rush hour. But the Lucerne trains are finally back on track, and Zurich Hauptbahnhof and its 3,000 daily trains are running to Swiss time once again. So now out in the train station of Zurich, it's, uh, it's really calm again. But this is the railway, and even in punctual and organized Switzerland, anything can happen. Maybe that, uh, yeah, in a few minutes, we are in a hurry again. 